with the bachelor challenge and it is the next day it is still nighttime but we have some people waking up here and there um i'm just gonna make sure those that do wake up a little early it's going pretty fast right now um that they do get the needs that they <laughs> they do get their needs met um of course you all know last episode Trinity had an accident right in front of our bachelor, but he didn't seem to mind, but we don't know. My computer was acting extremely laggy, um, so I restarted the game and everything for this one, because I am filming the same day. Um, so hopefully um, that doesn't affect her chances. That would be quite sad. So I'm going to go ahead and pause um, so I can get... I can go ahead and have him order them a maid, someone to come in and help them out. Because um, nobody else, I'm not going to make any of us clean. Um, they are here for love. They're not here as this is their living arrangement. I have not seen maid. Oh, hire service. I was sitting there staring at it for the longest, wasn't I? Uh, so he's going to hire a service and um, maybe get a maid. So, um, he's feeling very romantic today, which is great because today is the day of the group date. So I am super excited about this group date, um, mainly because it's all new. I haven't done the group date yet. Um, I told you last time I was having trouble with filming and I did have a nasty kind of attitude about it, but I think I am in a much better mood about this episode and I'm excited. So, um, bookworm <coughs> Savannah is reading. And he's waking up um, to uh, order a maid, hopefully. So we need a schedule maid, and we can hire a massage therapist. I have not done the spa day package, um, spa day expansion that I bought. So, oh, am I excited to get a massage. I may send them to go get a massage. So that's going to be cleaned up. So I'm going to move these so she doesn't have to sit there with them. I can be their little maid for now. There's still some other things that obviously have to go. Um, but... This plate is very attached to me, isn't it? Um, so, uh, I'm gonna get rid of those things. So, because she is, um, the one awake, I'm gonna have him come in. Um, he's awake. I did change up his room a little. I told y'all that red was not my favorite color. I'm gonna have him brush his teeth. He just woke up in the morning. And I'm gonna have him come downstairs and talk to some of the girls that are awake. Um, at, at seven, if they're not awake, I'm just gonna have them go ahead and get up and you know start their morning so he's pretty tense because he hasn't flirted with anyone but um he would like to go on a vacation to granite falls mm, maybe not i don't know should they go to granite falls as their first group date i don't know about that that might be cool though if they all go camping together that could be fun i guess um so i'm gonna have him do his cooking skill thing so i'm gonna have him serve some breakfast and that might wake these girls up and while he's serving breakfast i'm gonna have lexi come in she's feeling pretty playful and she is gonna go do some talking to him so look a lot of people have woken up this morning so um, i'm gonna pause because obviously i don't want another incident an unfortunate incident even though y'all saw me i sent little trinity um little trinity to you don't have to cook grilled cheese that's okay he's cooking um i sent her to go and use the restroom several times at i think two different bathrooms and she still was not really trying to go she was like oh i got time and she didn't have time so <laughs> her embarrassment is all her own that was all her guys not me um it may have something to do with my computer lagging but there are always unforeseen circumstances so i'm gonna have her watch some tv and Trinity, do you have to use the restroom? Like, I feel like I, I should have my eye on you constantly. Um, it's going to be over there. So he's going to go and cook some food, and he's going to flirt with some people, so he'll be less tense. I think being with all these women, these gorgeous women, is getting to him, and he is, like, he's a romantic sim, and he's having a hard time not trying to spread the love. So he's going to come down all naked, try and entice some people, apparently. Look at him coming down put a shirt on but all of them have pretty cute pajamas I think but that is really funny that he's coming down with his shirt off to do this so she's still making the grilled cheese I told her not to but that's cool there we go so um I'm gonna move that 
Hold on. So everybody's super hungry. I'm seeing everybody's really hungry. Um, so I'm going to have everybody um, wait to eat, hopefully. Hopefully they wait to eat. I can tell that people are hungrier than I thought they would be at the time. I was kind of hoping. I was kind of hoping that um, they would go and... Um, hmm. I was hoping that they wouldn't wake up until he cooked. That's what I was hoping. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. I was hoping they wouldn't wake up until he cooked. But it's okay if he if they're all awake. I'm going to have him flirt with some people. Kenzie's in here. So they're going to flirt. So he is going to get to know her. And he's also going to talk to Lexi because I believe that she can um, get to talk to him and get to know him as well. So he's super hungry. You don't have to smell the food. It's just eggs right now. So she's actually cleaning up as she does this, which is great. Thank you, Lexi. So nice. So sweet. So um, hold on just one second. Okay, so they're all talking and everything, so I wonder where she's going to be going. So she's a little bit hungry, so I'm going to have her get in the mix too, because might as well get her name in there. Um, So far, all of them seem okay interested in him, I think. It's still the starting stage, so we really don't know if anybody's not um, really here to play the love game. If they're here for maybe some different reasons. Um, so we don't know. I don't know yet, but right now everybody seems to be interested putting in their A game, trying, um, going up and being, um, very friendly. Nobody's been blatantly mean yet to each other, which is always good. So, um, he's going to make the scrambled eggs and, um, let's see what our girls are doing. So she found something in the fridge, which is smart since she was super hungry. She's eating a microwave pastry that she just got. She's getting out of the microwave now, and she's going to eat that um, instead of eating some scrambled eggs because she was starving and she was ready to eat, which I don't blame her. So she's eating. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bring Miss Lovely Montana into the kitchen uh, so she can say her good mornings. And the scrambled eggs are almost ready, so I'm going to have her come in so she can make her appearance. Um, so... He seems a lot more interested in his food. He's a chef. He seems a lot more interested in his food than these half-naked girls over here. I just know it's like all of them are half-naked. Go put your clothes on, guys. Get ready. So I decided, um, you saw that he had a little whim that he kind of wanted to go to, um, yay, cooking skill. So he is thinking about Casey. He's thinking about Casey. Uh, we all know why he's thinking about Casey. Look at this outfit. So he's been favoring Casey on his own. So I'm going to try to get him away from Casey on this um, trip. Not like away from her. Like, no, you can't talk to her. But just meet some other people. But he he likes himself some Casey. <laughs> he, every time, like, when she comes in the room or something, he always thinks about her over everybody else. He's always very excited to see that she has come into the room. So he likes Casey. Um... Mm, she may, if this continues, she may be the first date, but I'm going to have him get to know everybody. Let's see if some other girls pop in here as he wants to get to know them. He's not buying a toy. So the food is ready. It's breakfast served, everyone. So hopefully everybody's pretty excited about eating, um, having a nice gourmet chef come and cook for you, basically. So, um, that's what's happening. And she decided that she's going to go ahead and finish that grilled cheese that she had started earlier. So, um, because he wants to get to know Casey, it is 9.30. Um, I'm going to have him talk to Casey and then he's going to send them to Granite Falls. I think it might be interesting for them to go. Um, I have never been to Granite Falls myself, but if that's somewhere he wanted to go, I didn't pin it, but he wanted to go there earlier and it could be a good group date experience, bringing them on to the well, like a little vacation spot, get them out of the house, um, and to a tighter living quarters. I don't know, however, how the bed situation work out, because they would need seven beds. They would need a lot of beds. I know with a the campground, they may be able to work it out, but we'll see. 
He'd have to have a, he'd, he'd be in a tent, wouldn't he? And they'd be on the ground. So I'm going to send them there and we'll figure it out when we get there. I have no clue what to do now. But he's going to eat his food and then um, I'm going to send them um, on a mini vacation. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and put this invitation. Go on vacation with the whole house, of course. The whole house. So everybody. Is that everybody? It's clicked? No, everybody. I'm unclicking people. Yeah, I thought it was everybody clicked. So he's going on vacation with all the girls. He's got to pee too. I wonder if they have bathrooms in the woods or are we just... So he's basically telling them, hey, we're going to the woods. And they seem a little excited. She's super starving. Just walk up there and get a plate. Um, get a plate, guys. Grab a serving. So who's not in here? We got... um. Well, Savannah is not in here flirting it up, so let's send her in here to go and talk to him. Let her know, let him know that she's actually interested. So I'm going to give a hot fair compliment. Heartfelt. And Trinity, I can see why she wants to keep out of the room, but I swear nothing bad happened. He didn't even make a face when it happened, so I'm going to have her go and talk to him. Look how they're just surrounding him. He needs a little time to himself, but he's going to have to get over it this time because it's time for them to go on um, a group date together today. So everybody's really excited to see him. And I'm going to see some of these interactions, hopefully. If I can um, angle this right, we can see... Ooh, look at him. Um, see if he's interested in any of these people. I can tell he keeps looking at Casey. Like, look at him. Oh my gosh. I think he's also, he's giving Savannah a look too. But he has been favoring Miss Casey. He's going to give her a compliment. Yeah, he's still, oh my goodness. I feel like he's still looking at someone else. Okay, whatever. So, um, <laughs> uh, when he's done with that, hopefully he does as I've asked him to. Let's see if I can make him do it now. Go on vacation with these girls. I don't know how that interaction works. But he should be able to just go, right? So let's stop the conversation. Let's try it one more time. And I don't even know, I think the reason why he might be attracted to Casey is because that first time that they met everybody, guys, y'all saw how um, he uh, kind of looked up. He kind of looked up and she was the first one to come over and say, hey, would you like to, um, you know, go on a, <laughs> she just the first one to come up and say, hey, and ask who he was, different things like that. So he's definitely a little bit closer to her, and everybody else is kind of everybody else kind of has a neutral relationship, and I think that's what makes it kind of interesting. So he's having trouble doing it. Okay, I was about to say he's having trouble doing it. So I'm gonna ask one of the girls to send them on the vacation. Um, but here we go. So we're finally about to go on vacation. It took him the longest time to get his phone out. I guess he was kind of really debating whether or not he wanted to go with all of these girls. Um, but we're going to Granite Falls, and I'm excited. This is my first time going to Granite Falls, and I'm going with these eight people. So they're going to need a pretty big house. So um, with this um, challenge, campground, money isn't an issue, so there's not a problem with money. It's only going to be a one-day group outing. Um, it's going to be a lot. I kind of wish it was just a few of them, but he can always bring somebody out to a little hideaway together. This lot is not available to rent at this time. Hmm. Got a nice little mystery lot over there. What's over there? Now I'm really curious. So I want to get the biggest house I can get. Two bedroom, two bath, four bedroom, three bath. So you know we're going to the lakeside retreat and I'm going to edit it a little bit so everybody has somewhere to sleep. I would have put them on the campground, but it was kind of a tinier, smaller campground. And I don't want to deal with those girls on the, gr on the ground. Some of them are a little... Hmm. Uh, 
Okay, so we're here, and our bachelor is pretty tense because he needs some fun. He needs some great, good old American fun, I guess. So, um, I was hoping there would be a lake here. I've never seen this area, so I pause, and I'm just going to scout the area and see um, what they may have and what um, they could possibly get into. Is this a hiking trail? Is that what we have here? Can they go hiking? Because that would be really fun for them. Um, I guess they can just walk back here. Yeah, it's letting me pull. I'm just letting me pull. So I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to see how far it's going to let me go. Let's see this. Um, so, hmm. Why do I feel like that's somebody else's campsite? Can you visit? Okay, so I've never seen this guys before. So, um, that's why I'm a little intrigued. Like, can you visit other people's campsite? What is that? What is this? Um, so he's bored, so I am looking for a lake, to be honest, and I'm going to have him go and take a dip. And I feel like that might be fun enough for him, and maybe he can be so, stop being such a downer. So can he, he take a dip in this lake? Can they swim? Goodness, I need to have a swimming pool out here for these guys. Should have taken him to the swimming pool. So, um, because there's not a lot for him to do here, I'm going to have him go fishing. And, um, she is super angry. I'm not sure what she's angry about. Yeah, get you ang angry for the smallest reason. So she's feeling angry. I'm pretty sure she's mad. She's a hot-headed individual. But I'm pretty sure she's mad because y'all should have gotten some eggs. So, you two, I can't even feel sorry for you. Um, I think it's because, uh, she is here out in the wilderness. And she's not, I don't think she's a wilderness type girl. We'll see in a second. Um, I think that might be why she's mad. But, I don't know. Maybe because she didn't have her input into where they were going. So, I'm going to have her go fishing first um, with the bachelor. Um, and see if, possibly, she's going to go fishing and see if that kind of calms her down. This is not where the bachelor is going fishing. But, hopefully, they may end up at the same site. So, these two are hungry. So, this is what our bedroom situation looks like. Because this one... Is downstairs is kind of by itself. I'm gonna go ahead and um, lock it for him. Um, here we go. So lock door for. Okay, hold on. Let's click him. And let's say we're gonna lock it for everyone but Lincoln. And let's see what the other bedrooms look like. This is a very cute house. I really kind of like it. It's a nice little cabin. So I'm gonna clip back to my favorite viewing style. So there are two beds there two beds there and one bed there so we have seven girls that's two for six um that's one girl without a bed is it not yes it is so let's see if we can stick one more bed in here because these are kind of child size beds aren't they so they don't need um that toy box he's been looking for a toy box for a while actually um so i'm gonna edit this and they say i can't edit is that what they're saying i can't edit can't even put a tiny little bed in. Oh, well, so I guess I'm going to have to, um, they won't be sleeping here anyway. Why? What am I doing? Oh my goodness, they're not going to be sleeping here. They're just here to enjoy the activities. So I may do a different group date because this is this vacation area. I don't know what to do out here, you guys. No, they should stay here. They're staying here. They're going to tough it out. They're going to, he's going to see, um, who can make the best of any situation. And that's the kind of girl you'd want to date. It's the person who'd still try to have fun regardless of where they are, even if they're not exactly sure what they might be doing. So I'm going to press play and um, see what these girls, they really, she really has to use the restroom as well. And I believe there are two restrooms, so I'm going to send her to the upstairs one for her to potty over here. Um, so let me just zoom around so I can see this bathroom. So she's going to use that restroom. So they are very hungry, so I'm going to have her go downstairs, and she is going to get herself something to eat. So they went straight for the fridge, and they should be able to fend for themselves. And Trinity, we are not having any more accidents today, so get your butt in that bathroom and stop being difficult. Because every time, you guys, every time, every time, uh, we have an issue with them going to the restroom. So she doesn't know what she's doing. Oh, so it's connected to his. Um, so let's see if we can help her out here. Because they're not sleeping here. I'm going to unlock this door for her. Because I didn't even know. Allow access for everyone. So she's going to go ahead and go to the restroom that way. 
So go ahead and go now, Trinity. That was my fault. That one was my fault. I'll claim that one. The last one was all you, boo. It is unlocked. Hello, friends. Otto, your friendly forest ranger. So let me pause and listen to what Otto, hear what Otto has to say. So there's still an issue with her with this. So I'm going to unlock it. Just unlock the door. Just unlock it. And so she shouldn't be complaining to me anymore. So um, I'm checking. I'm chock full of camping nods. So if you ever have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. So um, I don't see him. I don't see this ranger, but who knows? So because Trini and her and Trini and him had a bad start the other day, um, he's feeling okay with the tenseness, I guess. Um, I'm gonna have her go and say something. Send home. Whoo! You can send somebody home. That would be funny. He says maybe you should just go home. Um, <laughs> I may have to do that. Um, so Madison's catching some things. That's nice. Good Madison. So Madison was our hot-headed, um, our hot-headed gal who was over there, not having a great time. So um, she's still, she's. Mm, this, oh, this is Casey. So Casey's a little better. I don't know why she's not going to the restroom. So this person didn't flush. Did not flush. So use the restroom, sweetie. Go use the restroom and then how is she doing? So she's uncomfortable because of that food. So um, I'm going to pause and get her. She's back happy. Um, we're going to go and get her to talk to Lincoln. Um, throughout this day. It's almost, the day is almost over and I feel like this group date has not done anything. So I am going to send them on another group date today. It's kind of like more of a welcome home again and I feel like they're not doing a lot together. So I will have them go on a group date where I feel like they are actually on a group date. So, um, looks like Fish and Sarah are too crafty for Lincoln. Um, and one of the requirements for the group date I just looked was for them actually to go on a date and they didn't, they didn't exactly do that. So <laughs> it's okay. Um, I'm going to pause for a second. So she's going to do the bathroom really quickly and I got to see what Lincoln's doing. Um, so Lincoln really has to use the restroom as well. So, um, I'm going to have him go to the house. should be right next to the house and he can go to the restroom in here I don't know why they have such an issue getting to the restroom I guess because there's so many of them they get confused I really don't know but there's always a, a problem with the restroom so I'm gonna have him use the restroom because he has to go incredibly badly and then I'm gonna have him go and talk to these girls because I feel like he has spent a little time with them a little time with all the girls that we have so I want him to get to know them all um, and then he can go and talk to who he really wants to talk to. I know is Lil Miss Casey. So Madison is pretty hungry. So she is out there grilling. Um, and we'll have everybody come eat later. And Trinity is doing something or another. I'm going to have her come and sit back down. Because she wants to go play horseshoes. But she can do that a little later. I'm going to have her come sit back down and wait for dinner. And what is she over here doing? She's making a bonfire. That's cute. That's adorable. A bonfire. So Casey's still cooking up some hot dogs, I believe that is. And then so they are making good friends. He's still in the bathroom. So because you're allowed to be mischievous, um, I'm going to have someone say some things. So the hot dogs are done. The hot dogs are done. So I'm going to come over, I'm going to have Lexi come over and grab a serving. So I don't know what she's cooking. Oh, she's roasting some marshmallows. I'm going to have her grab a serving and then I'm going to have her say something to Miss Beloved Casey who is looking all kinds of sad right now. So I'm going to tell her, um, give her some fake bad news. I'm going to tell her she should go ahead and eat her food. She's really tense right now because she's kind of materialistic, apparently. So she's grabbing a serving. Okay. She's still very tired. That's okay. 
So Lincoln is finally talking to her, finally getting to know some of the other girls and not focusing in on a few, which is all him, because I don't remember sending him to do that much with Casey. I will let him talk to her if that's what his pops up, but that is on him. So I'm going to have him um, go ahead and get to know. Because this is going to cheer him up for sure. Yeah, it's cheering him up already. So he'd like to cook a meal, but I don't think he absolutely needs to cook a meal. He's not having a ton of fun, so I'm going to have him tell some jokes. And hopefully um, that might make him feel a little better. So let's see how Casey's doing out here. And they are joking, but still having a bad time around each other. Isn't that crazy? She told him something fake, and obviously it was funny to her. And now Casey is crying and actually pretty upset because she's already upset she's out in the wilderness but now she's pretty upset with her so I'm gonna have her say something else to her she's pretty jealous that uh, she's getting most of the attention from the bachelor so I'm going to have her propose a crazy scheme and then she's gonna do something else so he is coming outside with the other girl and she's gonna start a preposterous rumor so they are cloud gazing. I did not tell them to do this, I don't believe. They are just cloud gazing on their own. So I'm going to have um, Casey come over and see this as well as um, this girl right here once she's done going to the restroom. So she is uncomfortable because she is being bitten alive, apparently. <laughs> yeah, bugged in the restroom. Bugs are flying around everywhere in the restroom. Ew. So she wants to go um, back to the lodging area. So I'm going to send her back here, back where we have some sunscreen. And these kids are still out here. So I'm going to see what happens when Casey walks over. If he gives her any attention now that he um, is having a nice little time with Miss Montana. So she's still pretty upset about um, being out here. And now she's swatting at bugs. Um, let's see. How he feels about that. So there isn't, I don't know exactly what they can do here, but I'm going to have him invite hang out, invite um, the girls to hang out. There's a couple of seats here. So I'm going to, yeah, six girls to hang out and then um, they're going to roast some marshmallows so he can actually get to know them. So they're all coming around. And I think that should be fine. And she's just getting here. So I'm going to tell her to come and get herself a tofu dog and enjoy that. So they're really liking this fire. So I'm going to have him ask them some questions about themselves so he knows who he likes and who he doesn't. He's talking to Montana. And he's going to talk about his dreams. So he's pretty embarrassed about something. What is he embarrassed about? Awkward comment. Oh, so he said something weird and two of the girls walked away. What did he, what could he possibly have said? I do not know. He said something awkward, but at least he's fun is going up. So some people are actually having a good time here and two girls stayed. I think this wasn't a great outing for everybody because not a lot of the girls like the outdoors. And he seems to be okay with it, but um, not a lot of the girls like the outdoors, so that's why um, we're having such an issue keeping them out here with them. So um, he's going to go ahead and tell her, um, he's going to do an impression, because they're having a good time talking. So he can't talk to her, she just left, so we're going to spend a little time with little Savannah. She coming back to talk to him cute okay so I'm gonna talk about your family some more different things like that we're gonna see if we can build this relationship up um, he won't be able to talk to everyone but at least he'll be able to get some time to talk to them because they did stay out here to talk 
and she has stayed for a while to talk, so I'm going to definitely try to talk to her because she stayed out here to come and say some things to, to continue talking to him, and she hasn't said a word to Lexi. So um, he's going to talk to Lexi a lot, give her some attention because she's been giving him attention, and it's only fair to reciprocate. So um, he's going to definitely get to talk to her, get to know her. And she came right on over to say some things. And let's see um, his facial reaction and different things like that so we know whether he's, um, who he's liking. So he's talking to her. He's still on his knees <laughs> because he is roasting marshmallows and it looks so strange. Let me just tell you, it looks a little strange. So um, they're just here talking. That was so weird. It just zoomed in for me didn't it so they're all talking to him he's kind of just chilling watching his marshmallow so he wants to go hiking no I don't think that's a good idea for you to just leave everybody so she is really sleepy so I'm going to actually um, tell her to go home so he's gonna go ahead and let her go home and sleep it off I know they should probably leave together. It's 627. I don't know if they want to end their date just yet. Um, but maybe. Introvert. Have a sim do nothing for 24 hours. Hmm. So I don't know who did nothing for 24 hours, but I can guess. Uh, could it be Miss Kenzie? <laughs> Who's doing absolutely nothing. Uh, she's been ta doing nothing. They're not even talking. She's just in there like whatever. So I wonder why they're not talking. So I'm going to have her um, Yeah, they both hate the bugs. So I'm going to have them Not go outside. They hate the bugs. Uh, I'm going to have them get to know each other because they have a lot in common, don't they? So she's getting some coffee to keep her awake on this big group date. So who is he out there talking to? So he's staying outside to talk to her. And they're having a pretty nice conversation, which is good. Um, so I'm going to have... Yeah. So they're having a nice conversation. I don't want to mess that up. So at 8, whether they're done with their conversation or not, I'm going to um, send everybody home. Um, I don't think today was successful for a group outing, but it definitely was interesting, I guess. <laughs> it was interesting. But as a group outing, I don't think he got to know anybody any more than he did the last time. So hmm, maybe he'll get to know people better next time. But this time, I think he kind of missed out on getting to know everyone because he was feeling pretty awful. So um, he's going to express admiration um, for her being one of the people who actually enjoyed themselves on this outing. So he's pretty happy that they enjoyed themselves on the outing. Um, so, yeah, she's like, whatever. It is what it is. I'm not going to make a bad situation worse. Okay. <laughs> So, he's going to gossip a little. And it is 8 o'clock, so I'm going to have him go ahead and call and let them know that um, he wants to come home. So, extend the vacation. So, he's going to be traveling with the girls, everyone, the girls, and they're going back home. So, I still having a good time talking. And they're getting a nice little reward. So Trinity's happy. So let's check his relationships right now and see who he's feeling the most. I guess we'll see that when we get back to the house. Yeah.